today's topic is cyanide poisoning it is a in continuation of asphyxiants all of you think that cyanide is a very dangerous deadly poison instant death no treatment available but it is not completely true this treatment is there and death also not instantaneous in this concern we are talking about cyanide poisoning what are the forms available what are the types of poisoning treatment and post mortem changes cyanide is an a chemical compound that contains cyano group it is a chemical asphyxiant reacts with hemoglobin within the body so and other enzymes in cellular level cytotoxic anoxia causing asphyxia at cellular level classification of cyanides basing on their chemical structure and availability and forms inorganic cyanides are hydrocyanic acid potassium cyanide sodium cyanide potassium cyanide and sodium cyanides are salts hydrogen cyanide is a volatile acid just like a gas volatile liquid so fumes of hydrogen cyanide is a deadly gas whereas sodium cyanide and potassium cyanide are the salts ingested and causing death by different mechanism moreover sodium cyanide and potassium cyanide also acting by liberating hydrogen cyanide only as it is they are not poisons organic cyanides cyanogen glycosides cyanogenic glycosides are available in plant products and fruits seeds and leaves of some papaya leaves and uh, other leaves and lotus leaves cyanogens and its halides halides inorganic cyanides cyan group is present as a negatively charged bally atomic cyanide okay just go through it sources of the cyanide is uh, abundantly used using in industries as in insecticides production photographic solutions metal polishing materials jewelry gilding electroplating all those things we are using cyanide salts even if you uh, type search for sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide is in available in amazon online shopping is freely available but because of industrial use natural sources what i said previously that is glycosides glycosides are seen in seeds of pruna species that is cherry and apricot and apple seeds of apple up to 18 apples whole as it is some 140s seeds is capable of killing a 70 kilo person otherwise it's not a much toxic the content cyanide content which is present in the seeds of the apple is uh, is not much harmful it's very low dose that too you have to crush the seeds to liberate cyanide otherwise it is harmless in environmental sources that is smoke even cigarette smokes alcohols natural biogenic processes from higher plants etc cyanide poisoning 
occurs when a living organism is exposed to a compound that produces cyanide ion. For example, sodium cyanide and potassium cyanide should act with the acid, then only it will become poison. Acute poisoning and chronic poisoning. Acute cyanide poisoning may result from inhalation of liquid or gaseous, gaseous that is volatile acid, hydrogen cyanide, and cyanide salts, ingestion of cyanide salts, cyanide salts liberating hydrogen cyanide by the action of acidity in the stomach. The toxicity depends on the dose and roots of exposure. At lower doses, loss of consciousness, preceded by general weakness, headache, vertigo, confusion, difficulty in breathing, may progress to deep coma and finally cardiac arrest and death. A fatal dose for human can be as low as 1.5 mg per kg body weight. Usually adult dose, adult weight is 70 kg. So usual fatal dose 100 mg to 500 mg. The half the gram. 500 mg of salt is enough to kill a 70 kg adult. Chronic poisoning is entering to the body daily in the very small concentrations through pesticides, insecticides, tobacco smoking, uh, some other food materials, almonds, apricot seeds, cassava, leaves, like, like that. Exposure to lower levels of cyanide over a long period results in increased blood cyanide levels, which can result in weakness and a variety of symptoms including permanent paralysis, nervous lesion, hypothyroidism and discourages. Mechanism of cyanide oxygen. Cyanide is highly lethal because it diffuses into tissue and binds to target sites within seconds. Intravenous and inhaled exposures produce more rapid onset of signs and symptoms than those oral ingestion. Oral or transdermal ingestion may produce a delay in sign and symptoms as concentrations increases in the bloodstream. Cyanide anions inhibits the enzyme cytochrome C oxidase, this intracellular action. In the fourth complex of the electron transport chain is called hypoxic anoxia cyanide acting not at the level of lungs at the level of blood it is acting at the level of cell cellular anoxia intracellular prevents transport of electrons from the cytochrome to oxygen no aerobic production of ATP adenosine triphosphate or energy the conversion, phosphorylation of ADP is, is inhibited. Tissues that depends highly on the aerobic respiration such as central nervous system, heart are affected instantaneously. This is an example of histotoxic anoxia. This is the mechanism. Just go through it. Fatic ions, cytochrome oxidase, mitochondria level action, inhibition of ATP production. Clinical manifestations. Cyanide prevents cellular usage of oxygen and production of ATP. In aerobic metabolism, large amounts of lactic acid will release into the muscle tissue, lactic acidosis low pH levels. At first, rapid deep breathing and shortness of breath followed by convolutions and loss of consciousness. If an average man inhaled hydrogen cyanide in moderate concentrations, the symptoms will appear within 15 seconds and with 4 to 5 minutes the death will occur. Treatment of poisoning and antidotes. 
the fatal dose of cyanide for human is already told discussed it is 100 mg to 500 mg for an adult people who breathe 546 parts per million of hydrogen cyanide will die within 8 to 10 minutes 110 parts per minute of hydrogen cyanide was life threatening after 1 hour 20 parts per million of hydrogen cyanide will produce symptoms after several hours there are several agents that are used against cyanide poisoning as a treatment first is nitrites the second one is thiosulfates and third one is hydroxycobalamin that is beetle vitamin nitrates are sodium nitrate and amyl nitrate thiosulfate is sodium thiosulfate the third one is vitamin b12 cyanocobalamin hydroxycobalamin is converting cyanocobalamin nitrates oxidase is the ferrous state to the ferric state cyanide binds to methemoglobin forming cyanomethemoglobin thus releasing cyanide from cytochrome oxidase first you have to give amyl nitrate by inhalation once it is stabilized if once the IV line is introduced you can give IV thiosulfate sodium thiosulfate for the same action amyl nitrate ampules by inhalation how you are going to give the inhalation means you have to break the ampule pour on the positive the vapors make him to inhale by the patient once IV line is established the same medicine sorry that is sodium um, nitrates can be given IV thiosulfate IV B12 IV thiosulfates acts at mitochondrial level dicobalt editate can be given if it is available glucose for supporting there is a treatment algorithm cyanide antidote that is sodium thiosulfate amyl nitrate administered by inhalation sodium nitrate administered by intravenously sodium thiosulfate also intravenous there are three medications cyanide binds to the ferric ion of methemoglobin rather than to the ferric ion of the cytochrome oxidase a3 in the mitochondria methemoglobin draws cyanide away from the mitochondria mitochondria will returns to the aerobic cellular respiration cells are able to generate atp and the production of lactic acid ceases extracellular cyanide binds with sulfur of thiosulfate to form renally excreted thiocyanate this is the action of purpose of giving thiosulfate production of thiocyanate this thiocyanate excreted renally water soluble this is a non toxic cyanide antidote options in the united states this is the kit supplied cyano kit FDA approved by FDA there are three drugs important adverse effects of existing therapy cyanide antidote kit passive dilatation leads to hypotension so we have to maintain the blood pressure with hemoglobinemia so uh, concurrent CO poisoning if you suspect CO poisoning in the same patient you should not give nitrates with hemoglobin EMA will increase with the CO poisoning hydroxycobalamin bright pink discoloration of the body fluids irregular 
heartbeat these are the findings like cobalt editate bradycardia hypotension cobalt complexes are quite toxic so i have to take precaution while giving these drugs like cobalt editate bright pink discoloration of the epicardium is a pink discoloration let's see appreciate the pink because of uh, oxyhemoglobin abundant oxyhemoglobin now it is some faulty businessman is exposing even fish to carbon monoxide to give a picture of freshness actually they are bright red if your gills are bright red because of sebo poisoning actually they are not fresh so this is one kind of uh, business tactics but not healthy bright pink to reddish discoloration of the biological fluids we can see in sebo poisoning and cyanide poisoning mass casualties in cyanide poisoning cyanide is a poison used in mass homicides suicides and as a weapon of war cyanide disaster occurs usually by a major chemical accidents or a terrorist caused incidents and in industries cyanide can be liberated during the combustion of products containing both carbon and nitrogen occupational exposures are reported in metal metal extraction in mining electroplating in jewelry that is gilding photography plastics and rubber manufacturing and pesticides there is a tendency of committing suicides who are working in photography or metal gilding and plastic there are freely availability of the cyanide salts that is potassium cyanide and sodium cyanide workers in cassava processing units are prone for suicidal or accidental poisoning animals also face accidental poisoning through cyanogenic plants pruna species sorghum species i told you as leaves of the papaya and leaves of the lotus and some other leaves having the cyanide forms of glycosides uh, example for a cyanide accident mass casualty may be two types with low concentration with high concentration cyanide antidotes for mass casualties coming to the medical legal aspects of cyanide poisoning that is most of the cyanide poisoning are suicidal or accidental who is the law also pass even some countries are giving a capital punishment by exposing hydrogen cyanide vapors gas making the victim condemned person sitting strapped in a metal chair with a bottom containing holes so facilitate the gas percolation underneath the chair they are keeping a acid and with a controlled mechanism the cyanide salts are getting into contact 